Terry from Export, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to get Ron to show you how to take care of your wooden Indian clubs. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of our headquarters. We got the office, uh, the training room here, and then I'm going to take you to the workshop. So this is the outside of our headquarters. It used to be an old apple farm. Let's get in. First thing you have is the office and the, uh, you know, the shipping area, whatever you want to call it. Ron's side of the office, my side of the office. Um, and here we go in our little training area. Boom. Lots of stuff in here and the newly painted wall. There we are. And now I'm going to take you through those doors here and go to Ron's workshop. Ron, the show is yours. Everybody, welcome to Ron's workshop. This is where everything happens and we're going to take you through a real quick how to take care of your clubs and what we do before you guys get them. First of all, I mean, before you do any job, always have a good cup of coffee. If you're going to use your soul, make sure you've got something to just keep you calm. Our favorite in the house right now, cardamom and a little bit of honey in coffee. It's excellent. The oiling process. These are sanded with uh, yeah, different grains of sandpaper, of course, but now it's fine. They're really nice and velvety to touch right now. Grab yourself some plastic gloves. We use what's called the Danish oil, which is a blend of oils and natural other things. When we put it on the club, it looks like this. You can see I use a generous amount because it's really got to soak in. Now, here's the thing. Let it sit a couple of minutes. But, I mean, really, it's, it's not rocket science, people. This is what we do. Rub it all in. Good amount on the club. Make sure it gets into all the pores. Make sure it's pretty easy to see that all of a sudden there are no empty spaces. Everything's got a little bit of a coat. Then the one that's been drying for a few minutes, soaking in, you basically rip off your gloves. Stay in a well-ventilated area. Nice dry cloth. Do yourself a favor. Get something that's used. It's lost all its small little fibers so they won't hang in the pores of the wood and dry it off really good. You can see that the shine basically goes from real glossy to a satin color. It's really lovely to touch after this. It's not slippery. It will dry now or cure, but that's how it's going to look. So when you want to redo the clubs if you feel your clubs have dried out you know accent they've been in too much heat been in the sun all that kind of stuff starting to get old you drop it whatever here's the beauty about using oil you basically don't have to re-lacquer the whole thing grab yourself some sandpaper but grab yourself i mean if you're just going to touch it up and give it a nice new shine 220 or even some fine steel wool take your these are dry now with just for experimental purposes or to show you what's going on lightly over the surface basically all you're doing is knocking off the fibers that have lifted because with our clubs the bamboo it stays pretty stable i mean you are not going to experience any cracking that type of things like you do in solid wood also one of the reasons why we choose to make the clubs out of this material so rub it all down, take those microfibers off. Now you can see it's lost its shine. And plastic. Coat it. Now you don't really have to let it dry too long because this has already got a good coat on it. So it's basically you're covering the surface. Take your dry cloth, rub it down. Oh, and it's beautiful again, and it's like baby soft. Now, the oil that we use is a Danish oil. You can look it up. If you can get it in your area, it's fine. It's cool. It's basically a furniture oil, but like in the description that we've got, I think Terry's putting in, 
there are some that are better for the environment than others. I mean, you can see well ventilated, but I mean, everything drips in there, so we've got no airborne lacquer and thinners and all that kind of stuff. Just keep yourself protected with plastic, plastic gloves and a uh, well ventilated area. It's a really fast process. You can see, I mean, that was like lickety split and that one was done again. There's, uh, you can even, I think that Terry's gonna include a uh, old uh, recipe for the traditional oils. This is what we've got, this is what we love, this is what we get already pre-made up, the, all the ingredients. It's a product we really, really like and we like what it does to the wood finish, like how it feels in the hands when you're using it. And basically that's how you can uh, treat your clubs if you feel they're getting a little dried out after a long time or yeah, exposure to heat. That's uh, basically what it is in a nutshell. Thanks, we'll see you.